So get this statistic, 37,000 Americans will be diagnosed with oral cancer this year. But if detected early, the five-year survival rate is 80%. And that is the comforting part. And joining us to discuss those risk factors, the symptoms, and the treatment options is Dr. Martin Goebel of Southern Boulevard Dental. Welcome, Dr. Goebel. We'd love to have you back. Nice to be here. Well, this is a very important subject. And really, it's close to your heart because you're very passionate about giving people the information so that they can prevent getting oral cancer. So let's talk a little bit about the risk factors that are also called irritants. Remind us a little bit of those. Those include tobacco, alcohol, various drugs, mm -hmm. and other irritants. The others include sunflower seeds or mints. Mm. As long as you place the same, the, the irritant in the same area of the mouth, mm -hmm. you're gonna cause some changes in the tissues. Well, so wait, let me ask you, just, uh, I see mints and hard candy. I always chew mints and hard candy. So why are they risk factors? Well, it's an irritant. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, and it just depends on, on your heredity, right. basically. So genetics do play genetics a big part. Genetics play a big part in it. Yes, ma'am. It's scary to see sometimes. And I think the problem is that a lot of people really don't understand all the things that they're supposed to be looking for, and they don't even think to take an exam or to go. And, you know, we looked last time you were here at the very simple evaluation that you can have to detect. Right. And the problem with the irritants, though, is if, that if you combine them, if you combine alcohol and tobacco, your risk goes up to 15 times. Wow, wow. So, but there's a new number one. Okay, what's the or, one? That's the new number one cause of, of oral cancer is the HPV virus. Whoa, okay, so let's talk about the HPV virus because I think a lot of people want to know. Okay, that's the human papilloma virus. It is the same virus that causes the cancers in uh, cervical cancer in females. Wow. It, uh, I research, don't think people would have even thought that. Well, research now from the American Society of Clinical Oncology at their annual meeting is predicting that by 2020, the incidence of oral cancer in males will be greater than the incidence of cervical cancer in females. Why? Well, the HPV virus is a cause of the oral cancer. Okay. Um, it is transmitted by person-to-person -person contact. It's transmitted by very uh, multiple sex partners, mm -hmm. especially oral sex. Mm -hmm. uh, saliva can transfer it. Uh, unwashed hands can even transfer it. Really? And that's why it's so important. I think people don't realize the, the importance of just washing your hands alone, that in itself. And so I want to ask you, how can we reduce these risk factors of getting oral cancer? Well. You can avoid the irritants for sure, one thing. that's the first. Um, now they're actually considering the vaccines Cer Cervarix and Gardasil, which are used for, for females 11 to 13 to prevent the HPV cervical uh, invasion. Right, right. Uh, they're considering it to be used in males. Are they? And Interesting. You need to know your family history, your me medical history. Well, all of those things said, I mean, you look at those risk factors, you look at ways to reduce. How do we detect in the first place? Well, regular dental oral ex cancer exams, both mm -hmm. visual and if there's any issues, then the more enhanced, the Velscope that we showed last time. Right. Uh, we now have a salivary test that can actually check for HPV. And it's a very simple test. Okay. You How does it work? Some you take some liquid into your mouth, you switch for 30 seconds, and you provide a, a sample. Okay. That goes to the lab, and they analyze for the presence of the HPV virus. Can that be bought over the counter, or does it have to be prescribed? That is done in, in dental offices or medical offices. It sounds to me very much like just having mouthwash, and you just rinse with mouthwash. It sounds like a very simple test, and perhaps in the future it it will be available over the counter, but okay. at present it is not. But for now, at least to know that you can do something that simple in the office in itself does eliminate some fear for right. people, which is good to know. And, and let's talk a little bit about, you know, the solution now. We talk about the problems, the risk, but how is it actually treated once detected? Well, it's a multidisciplinary approach. Okay. There's the surgeons, there's radiation and chemotherapy oncologists, there's dental professionals, there's nutritionists. Mm. And then you obviously have to have the rehabilitation and restorative people. Absolutely. Uh, it's very important to note that before 
any type of chemotherapy or radiation, mm -hmm. your dental health should be at 100%. It should. If you have abscess teeth or cavities or all that should be dealt with before the radiation or the chemotherapy begins. And that, that goes for not only oral cancer, but for any, any of the cancer. cancers. Sure. And, and I think, well, like I said before, when we showed the veloscope, that's how you pronounce it, the veloscope last time, it really, you could see it was a very simple process. The patient having it done said it was a very painless process. And it's just a very smart thing to do. Detection is always the best way to prevent. Yeah. The sooner we find it, Mm -hmm. the more likely you're going to survive. Absolutely. So let's tell all of our viewers how they can find you for more information about oral cancer and also for all of their dental needs. We are at 2716 Southern Boulevard Southeast in Rio Rancho. Phone number is 892-8600. Visit our website, www.sbdental.com. And I must say, and I, I said it to you before, when you're in the office, I have to tell you, walk in, it is such a great atmosphere. It's a beautiful lobby area, and the people in your office are all really great. And they don't make you feel scared. It doesn't feel like you're going to the dentist when you walk in, I swear. It really is a really comforting office. I get the name. I get it. I get it. It's comforting, and I like that. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate you being with us as always, Dr. Goebel. Thank you. Thank you so much, and thank you for making us aware of such important, such an important topic. Appreciate that. And coming up next, we're going to continue to stay healthy by shaping up New Mexico style. Don't go away.